Hey, it's Andrew. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be continuing our Connect series. It's going to be a particularly short video this time around. We have um, a couple more things to tackle. One major thing for the measure depth is we're going to need to basically filter all of the points that we've created within our valid points that we've created and see which ones are at the proper depth. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video. And then in the next one, we're just going to make a couple of scripts that we're going to be using for using those actual trigger points. So this is not going to have a lot of code. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create another list. And this list is going to be a list of vector twos. And this is the list that's going to go out to all of those recs that are going to, that are going to be waiting for these points to see if there is something that is inhibiting uh, some of the points from hitting the wall. And if something is there, then we know that a hand or an object is there. So we're just going to call this trigger points. And we're going to basically be filtering all of our valid points. And if you don't remember, in the last video, we created a rect using all of these valid points. And if we go to our update, we created our rect. And if we go down to our rect creation, we created our rect using these functions right here. But, and we use that using our valid points. Now what we're doing is we're taking those valid points and we're, like I said before, just doing a, a depth check. So it's nothing super crazy. But for that, we're gonna be wanting to do that every frame as well. And we're gonna also add like a little bit into our on GUI so we can see those points a little bit better. So the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna create a new function that's a private, and it's gonna return a list of vector twos. And I'm sure you can already see where this is going. We're going to be making a filter to trigger. Where we're going to be filtering our valid points to a list of trigger points. And if you remember a long, 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 long time ago, it seems like I had a Boolean within our, our valid point that is going to be within wall depth that we're actually going to be using here. So the first thing we're going to do in our function is we're going to create another list and it's just going to be called trigger points. We'll just initialize that really quick. And we're going to make a for each loop. And this for each loop is so that we can go through all of our points and we can test the depth of them to see if they're closer to our connect than the wall is, basically. So if our point is not within our wall depth, meaning it is further away, then we're going to create a new vector two that we're going to call screen point. And this is where we're going to be doing a bit of a conversion using our, our screen to camera function that we created in the last video. And you could find that right down here. If you want to look at that again really quick, it's basically taking our, our screen position and we're inverse lerping it so it works with the screen resolution or the camera resolution for our viewport. All right. And then for our screen to camera, we're just going to pass in our point dot color space X value. And the same thing for our, our Y value. And then we're just going to do need to put a parentheses there, I believe. Oh, I forgot to do something. We have to pass in a vector too new vector two. There we go. So once we've created that screen point, we're going to be testing it. So if our point dot Z, our Z depth is less than our wall depth, meaning it's closer to the connect. And we're also going to be multiplying our wall depth by our depth sensitivity. I think I put sensitivity. Yes. So we can adjust that pretty easily. And then we're going to add it to our trigger points. And actually, if we want to, we can probably put this all within this if statement right here, just like that. So we're saying for each of our points, if they're closer to the, if they're not beyond the wall, essentially, and using our sensitivity that we are getting the depth of the wall and depending upon how far that wall is away, we can use our sensitivity to create a little bit of space that we'll be looking for particular points. 
and we're going to be testing that next to our z depth of our current point that we're looking at in our valid points. Our valid points being all the points within the rec that we've designated. And then we're going to create a screen point specifically for us to feed into our trigger points. How we're basically taking the information from our valid points and we're basically just distilling it down. We no longer need all the information within our valid point. We've used all that information to figure out if it's valid and now we can use just the position of it. Okay, and then we add it all and then at the very end, we just need to return. Return our trigger points. All right, so if we go up, into our update function. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna be doing this every frame. So we can go ahead and we can take this and we'll move it out of our input. And we'll also set our trigger points here as well. We're gonna do filter to trigger and we'll pass in our valid points. And now we're gonna need to be able to see these a little bit better. So we're gonna just draw that in our on GUI. And you can draw these you know, any way you really like, but this is just super simple and it gets the job done. So we're going to want to just show our rect, I guess. And then if our m trigger points is equal to null, so we'll just make sure we have some points before we do anything, we'll return. And then we'll just go through each of those points. And we'll create little recs basically for all of them. So we'll create a new, so we'll create a new rec. Pass in our, our, our point, which is going to be the position, our x and our y value, and we'll just make it um, 10 by 10. You can make it any size you like. All right, there's that. And then we're just going to, with that rec, we're just going to make a box. We're going to pass in our rec and we won't give it any content. Just like that. All right, and I think that about does it. Let's scroll through here and double check. All right, I think let's test it out. Let's get this show on the road. All right, so we're gonna go to our measure depth script. And if you notice, our wall depth is gonna be at negative 10 and our depth sensitivity is gonna be at one and then we're gonna calibrate it. If that doesn't sound exciting to you, then you know, nothing will. So let's go ahead and let's hit space. Hit space again. And we have our rect, which is basically our wall calibration. And now let's go ahead and let's sort of figure out where that we need to place our sort of sensitivity for our, for our like objects and things like that. So if you start to drag up this wall depth slider, it should be in the positive numbers. I made this really big just in case. Once we're about a little over one, maybe like, well, let's try 1.2, 1.1. We have all of these dots, which is basically it's going to be triggering any trigger recs that are going to basically be on our screen. So what we're going to want to do is to make sure that's not happening and making sure that only objects that are between the wall and the connect that are creating trigger points, we're going to use this depth sensitivity. And this also doesn't have to be a very big number, but if we drag this down or let's just type in 0 0.9 that, well, 0 0.9, that should be okay. Let's try, let's try five. Yeah. Let's go with nine. Go with tenths. So as you can tell, all of our, I, I hit control S because I'm just so compulsive about saving, but you'll notice that there are no dots here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my little lanky hand in front of the connect. And you can see that there's some dots there. And if there were some like recs there that we are going to program in the next video were there, they would be, be saying like, oh, hey, there's an object here. So I'm going to uh, do some piece of functionality. But let's say you wanted to adjust this uh, sensitivity even more. So if we do 0 0.5, you'll notice that my hand needs to get much closer for the connect for anything to register. And this is a very basic implementation. Naturally, you could probably inverse this to making sure that only a sliver that is right beyond the wall can be detected. In this case, it's a much more simpler thing. If something is between the connect and the wall, then we want to detect it. Very simple. And I guess that's it for this video. In the next one, we're going to be making a couple extra scripts for the triggers. And if you, you know, have any comments or anything like that, you can just go ahead and leave them below. And I'll see you guys around.
around or maybe next time. Who knows?